Love him. Sad news in the music industry. Singer and songwriter Jimmy Buffett has passed away at the age of 76. This is video of Buffett performing in Minneapolis back in 1993. Fans right here in Minnesota are remembering the performer and entrepreneur today. Whether that was a trip to Key West or a night at the bar drinking a margarita and listening to Buffett's classic songs, Fox 9's Rose Schmidt shows us how local fans are honoring him. Enjoying a cheeseburger in Eden Prairie Paradise and drinking a margarita. They're delicious here. <laughs> those are the best ways to honor the legend who brought those catchy tunes to life. He puts a smile on everybody's face. You know, it's like you can't be crabby and listen to Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Brazen Public House offered discounted drinks Saturday to celebrate Jimmy Buffett, a singer, songwriter, and restaurant icon. He made the margarita kind of a common, more common drink um, and more known throughout the world. Customers remembering not just what he brought to the restaurant industry, but also the times they saw him on stage. In 1985, uh, he opened up for ZZ Top in, in St. Paul, uh, which was I thought was a uh, kind of a weird combination, but the crowd absolutely fell in love with him right when he took the stage. But you'll have a hard time finding someone with more memories than Jeff Haig, who's been to 49 concerts. But I had never really made plans to um, hit that number 50 yet because I, like most people, I, I thought I'd have another 10 years to do it, right? I, I never in a million years expected that today was going to be the day, right? Jeff runs Minnesota's chapter of fans, affectionately called Parrot Heads, a group that had more than 300 members at its largest. His Jimmy Buffett journey started at age 12, after his dad bought Buffett's best-selling album, Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes. It's since become a multi-generational tradition for this family. My wife and I took my son to his first Jimmy Buffett concert when he was two, and you know, now my grandkids are being raised by, you know, my son on Jimmy Buffett music, too. He believes that's Jimmy Buffett's true legacy, not just wasting away, but giving away to charity, surrounded by parrot heads in Hawaiian shirts as they put on backyard concerts. The way that he lived his life, I think, is, is kind of a, a testimony. The way that I think we all should just relax and just let things just happen naturally and enjoy life. And, of course, remembering that... I can honestly say he was the soundtrack to my life. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. In Eden Prairie, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9.